17 trillion of negative interest rates, corporate securities joining that sub-zero fray. My question is easy. Should Mario Draghi's bazooka be fired again? Has it missed the target? And how should Christine Lagarde deal with the handoff, considering a slowing economy, maybe Germany in recession, and the trade infractions affecting the globe, Mr. Trichet? Well, uh, first of all, you're right. We are uh, experiencing exceptional times, and uh, the amount of uh, debt outstanding that is in negative rates is gigantic. And it is uh, not only in Europe, it is also in Japan, as we know. And in Europe, it's not only the ECB, but also quite a lot of other countries like Switzerland, Sweden, and so forth. I will not say what the ECB governing council should do or not uh, from now on. I would only say that I trust that they will do exactly what is appropriate in the circumstances. And the circumstances are very special in practically all advanced economy because you have a level of uh, inflation which is very abnormal in comparison with the previous uh, observation. And you have a Phillips curve which uh, even in the countries that are experiencing full employment, including the US, doesn't seem to function as it did in the past. And that creates the real problem for uh, the central banks. It also proves now, that the central banks should not be the on, only game in town. No, and that is my second question. They can't be the only game in town. We're seeing that in real time. There has to be more fiscal stimulus. It's been hinted at in Germany. My last question is a simple one. If we don't see some response to negative rates, how are we going to purge them? How are we going to have an exit should the globe go into a prolonged recession? Uh, first of all, I trust that the situation, the present situation, is not sustainable in the long run. So I am sure that at a time we will be back in more normal times. It's a question of time, of course. Second, I also trust that there is not only the governments and the parliaments to step in with structural reforms on the one hand and fiscal uh, action on the other hand. You have also the social partners. The, the, one of the major problems we have is that the unit labor cost, the wages and salaries increases plus productivity progress, are delivering something which is much too meager, much too small in terms of growth. And that, of course, is the problem of inflation. So as you see, when I see other partners should step in, it means all other partners, including the private sector and the social partners. I guess my final question with the last very small amount of time we have left, uh, Mr. Trichet, is if negative rates and all the stimulus yep. and the quantitative easing hasn't really addressed productivity or raised prices, then obviously a new strategy is needed. Any ideas what that may be along with the fiscal stimulus that may be needed? Well, first of all, it's always very difficult to devise the counterfactual. When one says uh, the action of the central bank did nothing, you have to compare with what would have happened had they not stepped in. And I take it that uh, what they have done was really necessary and uh, helped considerably to avoid a materialization of the deflationary risk that would have been the real catastrophe. So, as you see, I'm not that negative. Again, Excellent. I expect Mr. that the other partners would step in.